is this morning. We want to end the year right, telling God how great he is, how wonderful he is, how magnificent he is. Because we have seen another year. He's been gracious. He's been just that good to allow us to see another day, another hour, and to spend time with each other. We were able to celebrate another Christmas with our family members. That's a blessing. A few years ago, we couldn't do that. So we want to give him some praise this morning. How great, how great, how great is our God. Let's lift it up and tell him how great he is. How great. with joy to God all the earth. Sing the glory of his name and make his praise glorious. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. So great is your power that your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bow down to you. They sing praise to you. They sing praise to your name, Sailor. Come and see what God has done, how awesome his work in man's behalf. He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the waters on foot. Come, let us rejoice in him. He rules forever by his power. His eyes watch the nations. Let not the rebellious rise up against him, Selah. Praise our God, peoples. Let the sound of his praise be heard. 
He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. Amen. Amen. I'm good. Uh, it's prayer time. Uh, but just yesterday morning, and I know I'm supposed to do this quick, but I gotta, I gotta tell y'all this. Just yesterday morning, about 4:30, I was all excited. Christmas morning. And, and, and y'all know I ain't nobody's child. But what I was excited about, I wanted to hear a song. And the song was Jesus. Oh, Jesus, what a wonderful child. And I found it on YouTube, thank God for the internet. And I played it, and it went all through my body like a cold chill. But what it said was this, that what we were celebrating, the symbolization of that hope that came into the world with that birth, we ain't got nothing to worry about, y'all. We ain't got nothing to worry about. So I, I'm through preaching now. Let me pray. Heavenly Father, which art in heaven, I'll be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Please, Lord, look down upon us this morning. Allow your presence to touch everything that we're in need of you touching, and that's everything. The nothings of the world that we know nothing about, fix that as well, Father. Go into the hospitals this morning and, and touch the sick and the shut in. Ease their, their suffering and their pain. This pandemic that's running rapid, Lord, we know you have the answer. We just wish you would, but we're awaiting you to do so. Lord, keep Keep with us so that we might know that you are the great I am, the one that has done all things before us and will continue to do all things after us. Bless the shepherd of this church. Keep him as he tries to lead us and then give us a following heart so that we might know it's from you. And then, Lord, we pray that you will fall fresh in the service today, that someone might hear and see you in one of us and want to know what they must do to be saved and come running, asking that same question. Lord, we know that you are a good God, and we know that in all things, you are sovereign. So we're trusting and believing in you right now. In your son's matchless name we pray. Amen. We're going to take this time right now. We're going to sing Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound That Saved the Rich.
Anybody want to be led by grace into the arms of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? All right, let's clap and look around and wave to our neighbors because it's Holy Fellowship time. It's a blessing being in the house of the Lord today. God has blessed us all week. We were able to celebrate Christmas. We are able to eat a lot. How many ate a lot? And now we are able to go on a fast. Thank you, Lord. Do we have anyone visiting with us today? If you're a visitor, would you please stand? Seeing none, we keep moving right along. Do you have anyone celebrating a birthday today? Birthday today? Birthdays this week? Hmm. Any anniversaries today? Ah. How many years? Ten. We, we take tomorrow. Fifty, fifty years. And you can branch us so stunned with the, the, the reply of love that he was just overwhelmed. You notice the way he kept staring at the wife. It's your congratulations. And if you need 50 more, let me know. Let me know. Isn't it a blessing you could have a couple celebrating 50 years? Amen. God bless. Keep up the good work. We hope that God, you continue to stay with God. These days, things are going crazy. But if we stay with God, stay in God, and allow him to be our ruling director, everything would go well. If you agree with me, say amen. amen. You're not alive you then. No, we have a lot of people out today, out of town, some not feeling well. But we expect it. It's called a Christmas hangover. <laughs> That's why they were debating that on the... On the um, on the, I think it's on the TV, top of the churches today are going to go through Christmas hangover. But, you know, the Bible says we're two or three are gathered. Amen. We're here and we're going to praise the Lord. Amen. And we look forward to seeing everybody else out next week. Amen. Amen. Let's continue to praise the Lord with our tithes and offerings. Good morning, MCBC. It is truly, truly a blessing to be here today. For we all should be joyful today because we just celebrated the Lord's birthday. And we are joyfully here again this morning. And it is joy time so that we can give back to the Lord what he has given us. Amen. We will never be able to pay him back, but we'll be able to show him how thankful for the love that he has given us. Amen. I'll be reading this morning from the book of Leviticus, chapter 27, verse 30 through 32, and it reads like this. A tide of everything from the land whether grain from the soil or fruit from the trees belongs to the Lord. It is holy to the Lord if a man redeems any of his tithe. He must add a fifth of the value to it. The entire tithe of the land and flock, every tenth 
animal that passes under the shepherd's rod. We will be holy to the Lord. Let us pray. Most gracious Heavenly Father, we are truly happy and humbled this day to come to celebrate your birthday and to give praises to you upon this day. We thank you for the blessings of the tithes that will be given this day, and we pray for those that had not to give and those that are less fortunate. And may you continue to guide and keep us and bless us, O Heavenly Father, and touch our hearts to continue to give back so that your kingdom can be built these blessings and we thank you in Jesus name we pray amen, amen. all right we wanted to make sure we ended on a high note for the year feel free to stand and sing with us if you want the song says every praise is to our God. Every word of worship is to our God. Let's put our hands together.
Amen. Amen. And say thanks to our praise team again. Amen. Our musicians, ushers, technicians, Amen. leaders, masters, deacons, Amen. all present. It's good to be here today. It's good to be here today. Amen. I mean, that, that, that means that God has blessed you. Amen. How many of us walked in here today? Amen. Amen. How many of us are alive today? Amen. Therefore, shouldn't we give him some praise right now? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer, may all of God's people say, Amen. The year 2020 was one of the most difficult years we have ever had to face. Churches closed. We started wearing masks. Families were unable to meet with each other for Thanksgiving, for Christmas, or any other such occasions. Our travel was limited. And in 2020, Approximately 385,000 people in the United States died of the coronavirus. 385,000. Well, we moved into the year 2021, anticipating better days. And for a while, it seemed like the sun was about to shine around the corner. Several churches relaunched, and several other activities were opened up, even though not in full scale. It seemed like things were getting better. However, uh, it needs a prayer. <laughs> However, during the course of the year, 2021, different variants kept raising their heads. And through November 2021, another 386,000 people in the United States died of the coronavirus. Over 700,000 to date. We have over 800,000 individuals who have died of the coronavirus here in the United States. Brothers and sisters, in spite of all of this, we are here today alive. Amen. We may have experienced some sickness. We, have, we may have experienced some difficult situations. But we are still here. The last Sunday of 2021, and we are here alive to celebrate the goodness of God. The Lord has been mighty good to us. And for that, we say, thank you, Lord. Can we give the Lord a hand of praise for 2021? In spite of all of the difficulties, the Lord has been with us, is with us, and will continue to be with Isn't God a good God? Amen. Amen. Now, in our scripture today, Psalm 66, verses 8 and 9, We shall see what God wants us to recognize and remember. 
Praise our God, O people. Let the sound of his praises be heard. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. Preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. The first thing I want to recognize is as the scriptures say in verse 8, because of his continued goodness to us, the way he has brought us over these two years, we need to praise the Lord. We need to spend more time praising the Lord. Notice, if you look at verse 5 in the same number of Psalm, it says, Come and see what God has done. Come, let us rejoice in him. Come and see. what Has God done anything for anybody in here? Amen. If he has done nothing else, is it for us to recognize that in spite of all of the illnesses, sickness, and deaths, we have passed through and we are still alive. Amen. Come and see what God Amen. has done. The world may not shout and praise the Lord because they are not aware of God's blessings. On the other hand, the Lord's children should continuously be aware of his goodness we should always be aware of God's goodness to us. Amen. Amen. Even when we were experiencing our difficult season, God still kept on blessing. Yes. Yes. His presence was always available. Amen. What a mighty God Amen. we serve. Amen. The verses here remind us that we need to praise him in a way that the sound of his praise should be heard. Amen. In other words, Amen. when God has blessed us, yeah. we need to testify. Yeah. Don't just keep it to yourself. Yeah. You know, one of my favorite singers, Mahalia Jackson, she said, you know, I wasn't going to tell nobody. But I, are you hearing me? I wasn't going to tell nobody. But I can keep it to myself. You know, when you realize just how good God's been to you, you can't keep that all in you. You got to tell somebody else. She said, I started running. Oh, my goodness. Amen. To tell others about the goodness of God. We all seated here this morning. We all have something to share with others about the goodness of God. Amen. Don't keep it to yourself. Amen. Amen. You know, Lamentations chapter 3, verses 22 through 23 says, The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. Amen. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. In other words, when you're going through, you're through. His love is still there, spinning all around you, yeah. above you, under you. Yeah. His love never yeah. sees, even when you act bad to him. Yeah. Treat him badly. Notice what it also says. His mercies never come to an end. Yeah. The Lord's mercies never come to an end. And the word mercy means... We should be punished for what we have done. But instead of punishes us, punishing us, he still keeps on blessing us. And those never come to an end. Oh, my goodness. Amen. If I could testify to you this morning about the God I serve, how good he's been, how awesome he is. Amen. It says they're new every morning. God's mercy is new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. The second point, the Lord has 
preserved us. Verse 9 tells us that. The Lord has preserved us not just sometimes, but all the time. If he didn't preserve you all the time, you won't be here this morning. When it seemed like we would not make it through, he preserved us. That's why we are here today. Also, whatever difficult situation we experienced, he was right there to preserve us. In other words, we are always in the hands of the Lord. His arms are always wrapped up around us. <sighs> what you're going through is just a period of testing. Well, I'm in church every week. I attend Sunday school. I pray. I treat others right. How come I'm still going through this COVID stuff? Well, the Lord knows best what's for us. Amen. Sometimes he has to send us to the fire Amen. that he can get our attention. Amen. 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 If he keeps us in the cool all the time, we act as if we're mad and we just keep walking around happy, joyful. But when he takes us to the heat, we have to stop. And then we have to look up and recognize that there's a God who's leading and directing us. It's not us that's doing our thing, but it's he that's leading us and blessing us and directing us. Look up. And my third point, the Lord has protected us. Look at verse 9. He has preserved our lives and kept our feet from slipping. He has protected us us. The verse says, he kept our feet from slipping. The word kept, K-E-P-T, as used here, can be viewed as a present continuous tense. Are, are you with me? Amen. He kept us, he kept our feet from slipping. Past tense. He, can, he is keeping our feet from slipping. And as long as we live and abide in him, he will keep our feet from slipping. Past, present, future. Amen. Story number three is so important. God, the Father, Son, the Holy Ghost. Past, present, future. Mother, Father, Child. You know, there's a study that one of the studies we did in seminary was the importance of three in the family. Everything we do is a triangle. And if we note that, you can have much stronger families. God, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, triangle. Mother, Father, Children, triangle. I could give you a whole lot. But just note that is important. Amen. That is important. Note that when you get home. Now, this suggests, when it says he kept our feet from slipping, this suggests safety. Amen. This suggests security. Amen. And this pro suggests protection. Amen. So when we are going through our stuff, we have safety because we're in the arms of God. We have security because we're in the arms of God. And we have protection because we know. That's why it's important being a child of God. Someone said, this is not to say that the terrain, or in other words, the land, the ground, the territory around you is always smooth and easy. In other words, because you're protected doesn't mean that everything was smooth and you went through your bumps. When you're going up the hill, your leg hurt, but God was there. You fell several times, but the Lord was there to give you security, to pick you up, Amen. to hold you, Amen. to keep you from worrying. Amen. Amen. See, we, we, we don't realize that. When we go through life, we go through bumps. 
We meet difficult times, difficult season, but the Lord is always there as our security. At times, being in God's hands means we are tested and purified like silver in a cuticle. That is a, a severe test or trial or an extremely challenging experience. Experiencing deep affliction and misery in the process. As we go through, we experience a lot of misery. During COVID-19, we have been experiencing a lot of misery. Yeah. Went to the, you know, I like, normally we like positive people around us. I like negative people around me. I love people to be negative around me, not positive. Are you with me? Amen. If you're positive, stay away from me. I want you to be negative to stay with me. You see, the, the, we talk about being positive people. But when you go and you take your COVID test, when you get the news that you're negative, you rejoice. You rejoice. Oh, I'm negative. So I love negative. <laughs> if you hear you're positive, that's the only time you get angry. Positive! <laughs> so in other words, there is a time when negative is good news. How many of us like negative sometimes? At this point in time, we want negative. Negative. <laughs> oh. oh. I think it's an airy feeling when you go take a test and you get the result, you're positive. That has to be very airy. But it, put the corona aside. I still want you to be a positive people. Amen? Amen? Amen. Put the corona aside. Let's continue to be positive. Except for the corona. Amen? Amen? It is just like God to bring us through trials of fire and flood to a place of great abundance. This is why we bless him and sing aloud his praises. The feet not slipping also suggests us remaining physically and spiritually alive. He kept my feet from slipping. That also suggests being physically and spiritually alive. Thanks be to God. He is an awesome God. He is a wonderful God. He is a great God. He is a merciful God. He is a God above all gods. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. Come and give God some praise up in here this morning. Thank you, Lord, for all you've done, all you're doing now, and all you will do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The invitation is given. You're here today, and you have never accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Why not come today? Wait no longer. This is your day. You're here today. And you've been looking for a church home. And the Holy Spirit is saying, today is your day. Come and be united with Missouri City Baptist Church. If you're here and the Holy Spirit is speaking to you, do not delay. Why not come? The invitation is given. We wait with open arms to greet you. Is there any today? Do not delay. Come. Give the Lord a hand of praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. 
We just want to be continue. We want to continue to be in prayers, on prayer for all of those sick and shut-ins, all those in different facilities. Let's continue to be in prayer for the Williams family, brother and sister Kirk Williams, sister Williams over there. He lost his brother. Brother's down in Florida. They had a funeral this week. So let's be in prayer for the family. Very, very important that we do. It's good. Continue to be in prayer for Thomas Savage as he goes through a very difficult season in the hospital. But God is able. Amen. God is able. Amen. Also, we determined that we're going to do an in person watch night this year. Been asked about that over and over. Last year we did it on the computer. This time we're gonna do it in person. We got too much to give God thanks, so we just do all the protocols to keep us safe. But on Friday evening at seven o'clock, seven o'clock, we will be having our watch night service. Amen? Amen. If we're excited about that, wave your hand. See the man, people. Okay. Yeah, we, we're going to have it in person, and we're going to have a great time in the Lord. Amen? Amen? Let's continue in prayer for a church, for a state, for the United States, and for a world. All that's going on, God is in charge. Ours is not to worry. Ours is not to fear, because God knows what he's doing. Amen? Amen. To visit. To all of our members, thank you for coming. It's always great to see you. We look forward to see you again next Sunday, and especially on Friday night, where we can celebrate the end of the year together. I say, may you have a good week. May everything you do and say be led, blessed, and directed by God. May you be blessed spiritually, physically, financially, or any other way God sees fit to bless you. Can we claim his blessings for the week? Let's stand, please, as we be dismissed. Oh, yeah, so we have an announcement, Sister Mary, please. Hey Amen. Just a quick announcement, if you just want to sit just for a second. Just an anniversary announcement. As you know, our 30th anniversary is on January 23rd, 2022. So we just wanted to let you know a few things that are going on. As you know, we already have our free will offering campaign that is going on now. And then we have new t-shirts for our 30th anniversary. So it's gonna be more about that. They will be on sale probably January 9th. So we will give you more information about that. Uh, but we wanted to uh, announce about our souvenir booklet take this off so I can breathe. <laughs> MCBC Entrepreneurs Promote Your Business in our 30th Anniversary Souvenir Booklet. Purchase ads between December 20th through the 31st, 2021. Your support will be shared with our members, visitors, and virtual viewers during our celebrations activities. Uh, for details about how to submit your ad electronically, is Souvenir Booklet 2022 at gmail.com. If you need to get that email address from me again, you see me after service and I can give you that. So if you have a business that you want to be able to advertise within our Souvenir Booklet, we would love for you to do that so that you can share that information with everybody else out there that you'll be able to be a good service to. So, and the payments can be made two ways. They can be dropped off at the church, and they can also be done online through Givelify. So, we probably have more announcements up on the uh, screen next week, but we just wanted to bring this to your attention. We want you to be excited. 30 years that God has blessed this church to be in existence and to have our wonderful pastor as our leader. So we want you to get excited about it. I know we haven't been making too many announcements about it, but get ready, get ready. So please remember also uh, our First Lady T on January 8th. 
uh, and our fellowship fun night is going to be January 22nd. So as I said before, we will make sure that those announcements will be on the screen so that way you can put that on your calendar to be able to support and be able to get excited about what God has done. I mean, after COVID, to still be able to celebrate 30 years, that is truly a blessing. So make sure you mark your calendars. Anybody that needs more information about being able to advertise your business in our souvenir booklet, please see me after service, and that way I can give you this email address so that way you can go ahead and submit your ad. Thank you. Amen. I also want to announce that sister, be in prayer for sister Murdis Harris, that she's not feeling well. Please be in prayer for her. Stand there. <laughs> hey, church, say amen. May the peace of God and the blessings of his Holy Spirit may it rest, rule, and abide with each and every one of us until we see each other again. Amen. Amen. Happy New Year!